Hi, I'm Maureen Killaby and I'm here at Artist Network Studios and here's a quick tip on how to draw backlight in portraits. Let's get started. I've already drawn in the background which creates a nice dark contrast and I'm going to come in with an H pencil using a medium texture I'm going to go around the face a little bit. Now one problem that I have seen before and that is this halo effect. A halo effect is when someone is just a little bit too nervous about getting too close to the face and doesn't quite draw it all the way through. So let's show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to blend. I'm, as you can see, not going to draw all the way up too the edge of the face. I am going to lighten up on my pressure just a little bit and get that little bit of sliver of light which is over here. But you won't be able to see it if you don't have a darker contrast that comes right up to the face. This in turn is a halo effect. I'm going to give it a bit of a tone soften those edges. So now with my skin tone in here, I'm not going to be able to see this little bit of light that creates a backlight without putting in the contrast. So now I'm going to put in the contrast right up to the edge of the skin. And I mean right up to it. So then there's your support. You have a dark supporting the light. The same effect happens also even in the hair area. Uh, some people are just a little bit too afraid to get up into the hair. Or they're not really sure how close to be or to get into the hair area. So now we have some nice backlight going on here. You can always just give that a little more tone just to tone the brightness down. Now in the hair area up above, you just want to come right into the hair. Even come in between some of the little hair. Don't want to get it too bright or too dark. There's a little bit of a halo effect there, so we'll knock that down and get right up in there, especially up here. What, it, what this does when you remove that halo, it pushes the subject forward and in turn creates more three-dimensional pieces of work or subjects. And then you can come in and your highlights and flyaways will show up much better, much cleaner. your tip of the day.